firm the foundation. You say. We salute you, Holy Spirit, this morning. And we give you all the glory and declare that indeed you are the giver of life. That priceless and precious gift to us. We hallowed your name, Holy Spirit, for bringing life and energy into our destiny this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, indeed, there is no doubt that we delight in Him and find new energy, new insights, and new resources to keep on going. But how can you and I also delight in God? or anything else when our world is crashing down on us. We can begin by turning to Psalm 119, which uses the word delight six times and shows us the first step in finding it. Psalm 119 verse 16 says, I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Beloved, what do you normally forget? Do you forget reading your Bible? Do you forget praying before you leave the house or the home? When you are going to church, do you forget to take the word of God along with you? Then Psalm 119 verse 35 says, Make me walk in the path of your commandment, for I delight in it. I know you are very good in taking a walk alone on those recreational grounds. But have you find time to walk in the commandments of God? I know you take delight in walking with friends to those places of interest to you. But have you taken time to walk in the path of the commandments of God? There's Psalm 119, verse 69, 70 says, The proud are forged a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in your law. Look at how the enemy has forged a lie against you. The only thing that can overcome this lie is the truth as you delight to walk in the law of the Lord, which is the truth of God's word. 
Then Psalm 19 verse 77 it says, Let your tender mercies come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. This morning, we are witnessing the tender mercies and the faithfulness of God coming to you and I. And we have welcomed it into our lives. And look at such refreshment that we've received. We are very good in welcoming our friends and visitors. Have you welcomed the word of God by taking time to have a family devotion or a devotion with your spouse or devotion alone as a single person? Then Psalm number 119, verse 92 says, Unless your law had been my delight, I would then have perished in my affliction. My dear brother, my dear sister, are you waiting for you to be sent to the hospital bed before you have delight in the word of God? Are you waiting when you are at the perishing point? Then you remember the word and probably you take the Bible and put it under your pillow at the hospital. A, a place where because of the frailty of your body, you can't even read. And then the final one is Psalm number 194. I long for your salvation, O Lord. Your law is my delight. What are you longing for? I know some of you are longing for the best houses to buy. Some of you are longing for the best cars and best luxuries of life. But have you taken time to long for the salvation of God? Did you pick up on the common thing these six verses express? The first step in delighting in God is to delight in His Word. Immersing ourselves in the Word of God reveals a God we can delight in. The psalmist takes such a delight in God's Word that he uses every possible term to express the range of its meaning. Statutes, commandment, precept, law. In the same way, other writers of Scripture delight in God by using his various names. Isn't that just what people do when they are in love? They come up with pet names for their beloved. And each name has a special meaning that conveys a particular facet of the delight they find. My dear brother, my dear sister, delighting in God's word lead us to delight in God himself. And delighting God drives away fear and gives us strength and power and hope for the day. May the good Lord cause you to enjoy the strength, power and hope for this wonderful day. Have a blessed day and bye for now.